Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, King6, just doing some research. And something that caught my eye is Donwop did a video on a Challenger Pike mid. And what's interesting is not just the fact that Pike's roaming as a mid lane, but he can actually solo people level one, solo people kill them at level two. And I found that really interesting because Pike in himself doesn't have an insane 1v1 kit. So I decided, yo, this Pike mid is going Hella Blades. Hella Blades is getting nonstop buffs. So there's clearly something about Hella Blades that can make an 80 fighter mid very very strong except i know a lot of you guys in bronze silver gold you're gonna struggle to play pike because of all of his skill shots so let's play him on an easier champion who is objectively stronger in 1v1's mid right and that would be zin zhao so today we're gonna be doing a little experiment of doing 10 games on zin zhao mid see if we can win all 10 ranked games and give you guys a bunch of tips and tricks game one ladies and gentlemen i think the best thing you can do is not hover zin zhao i feel like you hover him not only is your team gonna flame you but they'll probably ban him so let's just keep it under the radar for now the toughest matchup is probably syndra anything that can push you off of them and syndra would be one of those mages anything else we should be fine just eating onto them and hitting them but syndra would give us issues so i'm still not gonna hover zin zhao i don't want my jungler to pick him i don't want one of my other roles to troll pick him and now let's make our rune page so there's two rune pages i want to run here the first one i think is going to be best against melee sudden impact eyeball and relentless hunter we'll need that for roams and then if it's a tough matchup i think the, the pike mid was going resolve a lot of the time because it's just so tanky and strong i'll go bone plating it's a burst matchup or i'll go second win versus a ranged matchup so i can heal whenever they poke me so this will be my melee matchup we'll go revitalize this the uh attack speed adaptive and armor we'll just do zen versus melee zen melee versus range is literally just a tiny little rune swap in the resolve tree All right, so for our starting items, team mat's going to be essential, and I think this will be an easy matchup, so we'll go long sword refill. If it was a tough poke matchup, you could go for Dorn Shield just like the Pike mid does. So if you're up against Syndra and Annie, something that's going to be poking you, Dorn Shield one pop. But if it's an easy matchup, just go long sword refill. And if it's super, super easy, then you might even get away with long sword regen bead because you really want the team mat straight into lethality. Zinzaz invades are strong. We're going to start E. It's our dash and our trade tool. We'll just E onto them, poke them down with our autos. Ooh, wow, that's insane. So Ezreal's way out of position here. We're just gonna E on to him. We can actually kill this guy. All right, we got him. We're gonna activate our refill here. We need our refill potion. All right, we're gonna go ahead and reset. <laughs> As you see, we actually do quite a bit of damage. Oh, wow, Fizz is here. Hopefully, Rumble can keep him off of me. Because I need to reset desperately. Looks like Warwick wants to start over here. I'm going to go ahead and pick up my other longsword. And I would buy a potion, but I already have refill. So I'll go back to lane with the longsword up on this guy. See how we have three stacks on our passive? We want to try to trade with him whenever we have three stacks. Or at least two. He has a lot of minions though. So we kind of want to whittle those down. And he also has level two since... He's been a lane for longer since I had the back. So we're just going to try to get our level two here. Once we have level two, we'll uh, take a big trade with them. And the nice thing about Zen is you heal up. Pike doesn't, Pike has a similar heal mechanic, but I feel like Zen's is a little more consistent. It's just every third auto attack. Eon MQ. Holy cow. That's a lot of damage. Look, he actually flashed away there. He probably could have killed me if he just stayed on top. I should have activated my refill potion sooner. That's what I learned from that trade. He does have his ignite and I don't have mine. He probably doesn't know that though. I was taking a lot of his minions. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get our third point in our W. We're gonna max W last because it only does 50% damage to minions. All right, we got him, we got him, we got him. Oh wow, we still died for it. That sucks, he did have his ignite and we accidentally knocked up a minion there if we didn't knock up the minion i think we would have won that oh he's dead what's he doing oh he just used his mana that was so weird knock him up team at auto attack not bad gonna max our e first for the attack speed <laughs> oh my god he just stood there you want to use your W on Zin Zhao whenever you have them knocked up or whenever you can't auto them anymore because it's a big ranged attack, but it's also very slow. Think of it kind of like a Lux ult. You want them to be CC'd before you use it normally, but since I couldn't reach him, I just smacked him with it. It has the slash damage, which is the circle, and then it has a bigger damage, which is the poke. It's two damage parts. 
So we got hit with the slash. We finished him off. And we are going to be maxing our E first. It looks like bot lane shoved really far up. What we want to do is get a deep pink ward where the enemy laner's dead. And look, it's not five minutes yet. So we can't really break the turret anyways. Before the five minute mark, mid and top turret both take basically half damage. All right, looks like Warwick got a good roam there. We got a nice pink ward down. We'll see Olaf coming. We're going to get another ward down. We can play near our right side. We have it all warded out and we can be safe. Use your team mat in between your auto attacks. So we have our third auto up. It heals and does bonus damage. You can see it like right here. So every third one, your next auto is going to heal and do bonus damage. We're going to fake roam or we can real roam. They're not even reacting. I should have taken that plan over the wall. But this is what you do after you have team mat and you shove waves. You can just roam like this. Just kill them. Your ultimate's a really good tool to start a fight with. The roam looks like Fizz isn't level 6 yet. He may be in the bush, so I'm going to hit my refilled potions here. It looks like Fizz roam. Now check this out. We're going to chew up his turret. So now we can just auto queue it and just re wreck it up. This is one thing I feel like Pike can't do that Zin Zhao can. So I E the minions for the attack speed. I Q turret for extra damage. I just got over a plate and a half very quickly early game. So Fizz is still chill on top lane. We're going to go ahead and E the minions here for the attack speed bonus. And your E also does do some AoE damage as well. You know what, we'll just rush for Sanguine Blade. Really insane in 1v1s. Now, if it was still Fizz, I would have gone for the Yomus because I feel like I can bully him easier. But if I'm going to solo Renekton, he's kind of fed. I'm going to need the extra like 1v1 power. So we'll go Sanguine Blade. I feel like Sanguine Blade or Yomus is a good first item rush. If you're going to stay in lane, Sanguine Blade's better. If you want to roam, then I'd recommend the Yomus because the Yomus has, gives you a bunch of movement speed. Q is an auto attack resetter, so you can use it like that to get a minion. Q does bonus damage to turrets. I pinged that, that roam. They died to it anyways. It's fine. But yeah, your Yomus gives you a lot of out of combat movement speed, which gets you around the map. And you can put off buying boots or tier 2 boots for a while. But if you're going to go Sanguine Blade, you get massive in, in lane. Like, you're really hard to fight. You see how fast I take the turrets, though? Zinza takes turrets faster than anyone else, really. All right, I got him. That's actually really good when you think about it. That was a really awkward fight because they both had a lot of health and I was getting CC'd by both of them. But my ultimate made me take a little bit less damage from the Swain. If I could have played that over again, I would have just all in the Renekton, pulled him away from the Swain, and then killed the Swain separately. The Swain was actually tankier than the Renekton. Fizz is way out of position here. I'm too tanky for him to one shot. Gonna W him so I can't reach him anymore. Uh, I think we can kill Ezreal for sure. Oh, got him. Dashed onto them both. Got some big AoE. Got them both, guys. That's nutty. We can go ahead and tear down this turret. I'm going to go ahead and push into their jungle. I feel like my teammates can take care of this. All I'm going to wipe out the golems, the wraps, maybe kill Olaf on his red buff spawn. Graze a minute or less. Got the wave mid that we can rotate on here. Let's pull this into the bush. And look, our Sanguine Blade's giving us a bunch of attack speed right now. If there's one or less enemies inside of this circle, enemy champs, and it gives you a bunch of bonus attack speed. So you kind of just want to fight one person at a time. All right. Ooh, he used his E. He's so dead. He's so dead. Just going to run him down. EQ. Stay on top of him with our autos. Team Matt, he's dead. Ooh, got him. EQ, baby. Sanguine Blade to OP. I'd like to see Pike do that. All right, now that they're dead, looks like they're staying there. We don't have, really have anyone to worry about. And remember, Olaf's red buffs up, so whenever we move off of here, we don't want them to see us going for the red. And then we can kill Olaf on it anyway. So we'll try to break this turret, and if we can't, we'll just move around it. All right, I'm going to E off here. I don't think this guy can fight us. He doesn't have any real items. Nice job, Warwick. I'm going to ping the red buff. Olaf comes red free. So Olaf's going to check his raptors. They're not going to be there. I already have this shit warded, so they don't expect it. Going to kill him. E. Free kill, man. Please let me have it, Warwick. Thank you. 
Ooh, I think they're out of position. We can kill this. But let our bot lane shove. EQ. We got his flash. That's huge. Warwick's ulti is still down. Yeah, he's dead. Just gonna walk up. He just wasted his CC. EQ. He's dead. I don't have to land any skill shots, guys. Zin Zhao, you can just EQ and then use your W after you have him knocked up. I can wreck these guys. I'm gonna team at. Kill him with my team at. <laughs> Team Matt does have a lot of range, more than your autos. EQ. Kill him. Not bad, not bad. Mm, I'm gonna ult him away and then I'm gonna arm. I mean, I'm gonna arm and then I'm gonna E him. I could have easily soloed him, but I got the help from my teammates, which is cool too. So we got our full penetration, bunch of lethality, and the Edge of Night, I don't think it's essential, but one thing I do like about it is the HP, so it's a little bit of tankiness, still a lot of AD lethality, but I really like this shield. So if Fizz is trying to get away and he just throws an ult on me, I'll be fine. Or for Necton stun or just Swain's snare out of nowhere, then it gives us a little bit more uh, forgiveness. Otherwise, we can get CC chain and die really easily. So these guys are out of position. Fizz is gonna roam down for it. He sees they're about to get dove. Yo, Fizz just used his troll pull. We're gonna yo moves get on this guy. EQ. Holy shit, dude. Wow, that was some damage. Killed him in just like three autos. Nice, take down the turret. We're gonna heal off this with our autos alone. You see that healing? Every third hit it. I'm gonna ignite him. W, he's dead. We'll shove this in. Not bad. We're gonna queue the turret. Look at that damage. Very nice. And we have our we have our sanguine. We're gonna queue the turret. Mordekaiser ulted him. I need let's hit the base. Save me. <laughs> well GG guys, game one is a success. I'm happy with that. Not bad. We got some compliments from our teammates. We soloed mid. So Zen in the fizz, easy matchup. Once you get a kill on him, it's pretty much over. Go ahead and honor. Honor the warp for staying cool. So that's our damage. We had more damage done than pretty much the whole team. That's insane. Three honors in Zhao. Pretty good. All right, guys, we are in game two, and this was an absolutely horrible time to pick Zin Zhao. We were last pick. We picked it anyways because I want to do this video. And uh, they have a Teemo blind dart. They have the Jax E stun, which I can't auto him on. They have Ash CC. The Echo is going to be hard for me to kill once he's six. And uh, our team's full AD. Rengar, me, Lucian, Yi, and all we have for AP damage is the Nami. I don't know why we're over here, though. That We're invading the wrong side of the map. Wrong side, though. <laughs> That makes no sense. I don't know why we're over there. He's just gonna solo invade red buff, I guess. Uh, it doesn't look like the enemies are there, so I'll go ahead and not. If I felt like the enemies were starting there, I definitely would have helped him though. So what we want to do here is not really shove wave too hard, and we want to just kill the echo. It turns out the enemies know, and then Yi missed his smite against their mid and top, and then we lost. It was a fun game. Moral of the story, don't pick Zin Zhao mid if your team's already full AD. It's also going to be hard to win if your Yi comes mid 20 times to steal your minions and XP without even trying to gank. Alright, we're in game 3, hoping it goes better than game 2. Since our team has some AP, I think we're going to be good to go. As long as we don't do another really bad invade, we should be fine. Up against the Kassadin, I think this is a really good matchup. Kassadin, Katarina, uh, any kind of really melee champ who's squishy early or takes time to skill, I think we could squash really easily, so I'm excited to play this matchup. I'll try to get off four autos for the double passive. Nice. We got two pa procs on our passive down there. We'll all in him again when our E's up, and we'll uh, try to kill him. All right, I think we'll get him on this next one. He's chugging corruption potions like crazy, so I'm gonna start chugging some of my own pots. We'll let him hit us a bit. I don't know where Graves is. If he can hit us, our minions will aggro him. So I'm just trying to, so he hits us there. My minions turn, he takes some damage. That's exactly what we wanted. I really want to aggress on this guy. It's tough though. He's chugged all of his potions. And uh, the waves, in, like I said, it's in a weird spot. I think we can get him here. And knock him up. He's dead. Very nice. Just had to be patient until he just stepped up a little bit too far. We don't want to dive him under turret. We're going to run up behind them. We're going to hold on to our dash until we need to use it. We don't want to like dash and then them immediately flash away. 
So we're just gonna walk up and auto, get a ward down in bush. We're just gonna walk up, auto cure. Her. Got her. I need Ezreal heal. He's literally gonna let me die here. All right, not the not the best fight, honestly. I felt like we could have reacted a little better than that. Luckily, we did get a kill though, which is nice considering the enemy bot lane had their sums. Yeah, he just actually ignited us. He's panicking. He knows we can kill him, but we ignited him. Cued him down under turret with our hella blades. Graves is probably going to come from our left side, but we have ult. I think we can take him. I'm going to hold on to my stuff here. So all of his abilities are down now. Oh, we almost actually had him there. Ooh, we might actually get in this bush and kill Vayne. I don't think she has Senna with her this time. Her Rage Blade's fully stacked, so I don't think I can... Ooh, Senna is with her. Got her. Aha! I got you with the slow, but she's fast as fuck. I hit her with the slow anyways, but she's just super fast. I got him 1v2 though, I'm happy about that. One shot the main. She just did half my health from that far away. Tell me that's balance, man. And her snare's already back up. What the fuck? Nah, she's actually gonna... Senna! Wow. That is one balanced champion. She has one item, guys. Instead of going for the Sanguine Blade, I'm, I think I'm gonna go for Bork. I'd rather have the Bork slow so I can kill people like Senna. I shouldn't be getting soloed by it. Send a support. I'm gonna run out. Yomu's. There's two top. She's dead. If we would have hit her with uh, bilge water, we probably would have killed her. Got him. Just ult the Urgot away. I have a uh, black cleaver. I should be able to tear this guy up. Got her. <laughs> we got some real damage now. I just needed to be more patient. All right. Very nice, guys. Game three is a success. You just need at least one AP champ on your team and you win. That way your lethality can do some work. Very, very nice. All right, guys, we are in game four into a Vigar. This is going to be a tough one since he went exhaust. If he went any other keystone, I'd be chill, but he's got me nervous, man. I'm shaking in my boots over here. Yeah, ooh, let's get on to him. He's going to try to hit me with a Q. Oh, he actually started E, dude. This guy's high. We already know this Volibear is going to camp this hard. Ooh, I really wanted to E on that. I know I'm going to die, though. I can't go that deep. Dude, this is a fiesta, bro. I love this. <laughs> Why are we all mid? <laughs> oh, boy. Game four is a hoot. There's still people here. Let's uh, let's ping it. Let's, let's uh, smash this guy. Turn around, dude. Fight me, dude. <laughs> he started stun. I've never seen that out of Vagar. Maybe Vagar support if he invades, but I've never seen it, like... Still, I don't know what the fuck she's doing, honestly. Ignite the volley bear. Mm. I should have flashed a little bit sooner there. I was a little greedy with my flash. This dude's just standing all the way up. Hit him with our team at. Like we just nearly killed the guy. We have our third passive hit up. We're fixing to just flash, EQ, ignite him. He just keeps coming up at the funniest times to the last hit. Got him. Vagar overstayed. I got him low and he didn't want to back. If he backed, I would have taken two and a half turret plates. So he was in a lose-lose situation there. I'm going to push him off a of cannon minion. Going to ult twitch off me. Oh, 
Almost got him. I got the volley. This game, I rushed Umbral Glade because I had an awkward amount of gold and it's the cheapest lethality item. I wouldn't recommend it. It just doesn't give the stats that you need. You don't get the lifestyal or the attack speed that Sanguine Blade gives and you don't get the insane mobility that Yomu's give. So just hold off. Don't go for Umbral Glaive. It's not worth it. So ladies and gentlemen, it happened again. Just like game two, our team is full AD, our AD carry and the jungle both got to see our team comp and they picked. So we'll just have to say so long. That sucks, man. Nice, got a turret shot on him. Got Wukong flash. Thinks that's gonna actually get him there. Oh, we got the kill, but boy, are we gonna lose the wave. We'll look for a roam here. We just dumped a fat wave on him. Might as well get a spicy roam off here. We don't even have team map, but boy, are we going for it. Whoa, he's getting low. All right, we got the kill. That's huge. Interesting. Time to roam. This must be warded. He's not that interested. All right, there he comes. There he comes, boys. <laughs> Dude, the ward cheese is too strong. That's hilarious. I'm pretty sure this isn't warded. Hit him with my W, or at least try to. Flash on him. Ooh, baby. Let's get it. Got her. <laughs> we killed Janet right as the game ended. Nice. And that's game five. So far, four wins, one losses. And to be fair, our loss, I kind of already knew we were going to lose because we were full AD. Alright guys, we are here in game 6 up against an Orianna who took Airy, Flash, and Ghost. I think we got this. She keeps hitting us. She's not hitting the minions. She's getting less CS. We have double her CS now. Shivana's probably over here. That's probably why she's walking over. I can kill Shivana. Got her. She's dead. You're dead now if you don't run, friend. You gotta run! You gotta run! Got her with the tip, baby! All you need is the tip! <laughs> oh, I killed enemy jungler. Uh, I killed their mid laner. And no one's saying anything. I find that so weird. They lose to Zinzao mid. They're not flaming in all chat. They're not mad at me. They're not saying, like, good job. Just silent. Just losing in ranked against a Zinzao mid, man. I think I can find Shivana. She'll come over here. Oh, she, yeah, she is over here. I figured, I figured she'd be on her golems. Knock her up, hit her with a W. I grow the Raptors on her. <laughs> My W hit the Yeah, you shouldn't have done that. Take him right off his horse. I'll re-engage on him if he's gonna do that kind of thing. And I can teach him a lesson. Just like that, and he's dead. That's why I went for the early Sanguine Blade. If she flashes, I'm gonna flash. It'll just flash the wall, it's not worth. I got a lot of their stuff. Got that, that, I got Ori ult, it's fine, I'll just back. So when she steps up here like that. Yeah, I got her, she's done. Mm, all right, we'll let him be. So I actually left him on his horse. When Kled falls off his horse, he's actually much faster in his little form if he's moving towards an enemy champion. So if I would have knocked him off his horse there, he would have actually killed me. I don't think I would recommend Trinity Force. Like it's fun and all, but you might as well just go lethality or just damage on Hella Blades in Zao mid. And that's game six, five wins, one loss so far. miss that she's missing that she wants to trade 
I need to pull back with my potions here. Alright, we got her. We got her, boys. We took her downtown. To pound town. <laughs> oh, man. This Olaf's being a dick. I mean, I, I she can still kill me is the thing. Get fucked. Dude, it's literally just... It's 1v2 mid. Six ganks. I haven't gotten a single gank, man. Olaf's literally just sitting mid. Hide behind my minions. It's actually insane how many ganks this soul is getting. Gotta knock that guy up. I'm gonna try to get this. Nice, we got dragon still. Oh my god. Zen win, dude. Zen win. Got the- Oh my god, I got him. I knocked him up WT map. This Olaf's a fucking goofball. Oh my god, we actually got him. <laughs> we killed him so fast. He's so squishy, dude. We killed him with tears in Zao. Gonna run away from that. Oh man, I think we can get it. We can get it. Got her. And we saved the second turret. That's huge. Would have liked to kill the Zack as well, it's alright. It's honestly amazing how my bot lane just got 2v2'd when Zaya still had ulti. That's very impressive. And then, uh, we lost. That was a fun game, man. <laughs>baby that's some damage i think i found my favorite zinzao late game build it's so strong the yomus the edge of night just ran him down one shot him pretty much something i'm coming to realize is every single game you play zinzao you're gonna get camp non-stop so if possible get a kill super early if not you really have to word up and just play safe because you're gonna get camped
Oh shit. Gonna have to cream the vein. Gonna stay outside of her auto attack range. Hit her with the W. Finish off the Leona. Boom, baby. Let's get it. That's how we do it around here. Yeah, I'm liking this build, guys. Throughout this uh, little series I'm doing for these 10 rank games of Zin's out, the strongest build I've done is Tiamat into Yomu's into the Titanic Rage Blade. It's an insane power spike. Way better than the Sanguine setup or the Mana Moon or anything else. Yeah, that's fine. We have a really nice freeze now. They're going to have to send Rek'Sai mid to break this. <laughs> Cast built the freeze of a lifetime when I went for the the top roam there. Got him. Boop! <laughs> I think he was dead anyways. I think he knew. That's why I just stopped moving. I don't think this cast is happy. His wave is frozen now. He got it fucked up really hard. And uh, he's probably flaming his jungler even though that was... Uh... I don't want to say it was necessarily his fault. But it wasn't his jungler's fault by any means. If you're going to play Cassidin... Oh shit. That was well played by him. Alright, we got the cast flash. It won't matter. I think Rek'Sai must be here. Yeah, every time Cast steps up, it's obvious. Oh, hit him with the W. Nice. Yeah, every time Cast steps up, it's so obvious. He can't solo us, so whenever he steps up like that, I already know what he's going to do. Got him. Got Rek'Sai. I'm going to go take her red buff. Could probably kill her on it, too. Got a massive, massive lead now. They're in big fucking trouble, man. This Rek'Sai is not that great, and she fell behind early, because I think she tried to set up a weird jungle route that involved ganking me, but I didn't stay. I'm trying not to reset the Raptor. I didn't stay is the thing. All right, I fucking died, guys. Holy shit. I want cast a ult on me. All right, we got him. <laughs> oh, we set up our passive on three stacks. So we actually hit him with our passive twice. On the first auto, and we hit him with four more autos. That was awesome. Yeah, I'm happy with the build setup. I'm team at the boots. All right, just got to run away from this guy. I think we can actually solo her. Maybe not. Maybe. Yeah, boy. We got him. Oh, the lethality early is so strong. And that concludes our 10 game climb on Zin Zhao. The most optimal build we've discovered is Team Mat Rush into Yomu's, into your tier two boots, whether it be Tabby's or Merc Treads, it doesn't matter. At that point, you then want to get your Titanic Hydra and the Rage Blade. Then you could get Bork or any other optional item your heart desires, whatever is best for the situation. Do I think Zin Zhao has a lot of potential? Yes. Do I think it's the best mid lane pick ever? No, but it has so much cheese potential and so much 1v1 potential that I feel like especially in low mid elo, even in solo queue, you could just dominate people. Even if you're a bad mid laner, you'll just auto win lane. Especially if you can get a kill before you start getting perma camp, you, it doesn't matter, you just win. Seriously. Something I also see potential in is uh, in higher elo, especially where early game really matters, particularly if you're duo with your jungle, because you can easy shove and wave and take full lane prio super early in the game to where you can kind of roam on the enemy's buffs and just get massive control super early. So I think Zin Zhao is definitely an amazing duo Q champion as a mid laner. Probably be testing that out in the future with a jungle buddy or something. But for now guys, we did finish eight and 10 on Zin Zhao. We have two losses. One, we could have easily avoided if we just would have dodged a full AD team comp that we had. Don't pick lethality Zin Zhao if your team is full AD. You're just gonna lose. And the second game, Honestly, I got a bunch of kills in lane, even though I got camp. I'm not going to take responsibility for that loss. I was just a bad team. 8 and 10 is our record on Zen right now. That is going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.